I liked the fact, the fact that it was a silent film and it looked really authentic in the colour scheme and the fact that you had it black and white and then you got the little captions because the music was really nice and you'd obviously edited it really well. Um, I really liked it, it's kind of arty, uh, you know, the black and white. Uh, the music worked really well with it. Uh, very interesting angles, sort of over the shoulder and sort of range and up close. And, and well, I liked, um, I just like, I like the, the concept of it. I mean, Jack, look, the makeup's done really well, and he sort of looks, he's quite emotional, emotionful, that's not a word, emotion. Full of emotion. Emotional, that's the word I'm looking for. Um, uh, and just the fact that he seems quite happy to walk around. It's just a, it's sort of a cheery sort of thing, and the music fits really well with it as well. Like, um, when uh, he puts his hat on, um, it sort of kicks into the main bit and the, the drums start kicking in. It's sort of like he's putting his hat on. It's adventure time. Adventures are going to happen and it just fits really well. Um, and the way that the, um, the colour sort of comes in as well when the new character's introduced, I think that works quite well as well. Just sort of the contrast between dark and colour and... Yeah, and it's just really quite good. And the, the hats are quite cool. Um, I like the way how it just kept on following the character progress through and just how you sort of always sort of remained a bit quizzical about what was going on and the sort of mystery line behind it. Also the fact in which there were sort of no voices from which the characters talked, I thought that was quite fascinating. Uh, the way the music matched the uh, feel all the way through. Like even, I liked how how you showed his life slowly changing from like his boring starting life to all the way in colour at the end with um, Evie. What did you like about my film? I really like the creativity and the story behind it. Um, I thought the music was really, really good as well. I like the way the chat scenes change from one to the other. Yeah. Um, it's absurdity and it's um, kind of mock, um, it's the way it mock kind of the silent genre and um, the way you have the sound effects and the musicality complementing the, um, the complete lack of speech and the very um, modest kind of sparse use of the speech cards because quite easily when you do sign film it's very easy to um, go overboard on the speech card and use them where you would use more dialogue and um, I like the way you used it rather sparsely uh, and the mix of colour and black and white especially was um, was really really interesting. Okay film. Uh, I liked the music and I actually like how the story went on. I know it's a bit odd but I liked how everything went together. <laughs> Um, I thought that the journey of Jack went on quite a bit. Um, that could have been shorter. Uh, possibly a bit more at the endings, a bit more capish, you know, what's going on. Uh, a bit unclear, maybe. Just the, um, the text, when it comes up, uh, I feel that when the fact that you use three question marks makes it seem a little more childish than like if it was just one or perhaps with, uh, an ellipsis and a question mark and the fact that you repeat the word what as opposed to sort of like what does this mean or uh, it's, like, it's like a longer sentence like what does it mean or what are these things or who's leaving this or just something a little more in depth or just what because although obviously you start with if you were finding random pictures of people in hats you would be like what but you would after a while start to think who's leaving this why is this here what's going on and you'd ask something a bit more in depth um, and also uh, this is this, I'm getting really picky about the text but um, uh, when he says go to the forest I feel it should be more sort of a statement like read out not as a question sort of a go to the forest Just, I don't know that, that's what I think it's mainly the text and um, another little thing I picked up on as well was the transition between the original song and the slightly floatier forest song it was a bit abrupt it was sort of just like the guys singing fades really quite quickly and then it's like fairy music and it's not well it seems a little too brash and I feel that you could maybe met blend it a little better, I don't know, but yeah, that's what I think. The, the bit where they meet, when she looks down at the the picture, it should have been sort of a, Shut up, not a really long, like, 
What? Uh, I don't know. It just I feel it should have I feel it should have been a quick look up, look down, sort of am I seeing this right? Double take kind of affair, not a <laughs> Could be improved. Um, I thought there was a couple of bits where it skipped a bit too suddenly. For example, um, when there was the bit where it turned from, in the forest from uh, black and white to colour. I thought that was a bit too sudden and there should have been perhaps a little more lead on to it. Perhaps. Um, another example would be um, when when the um, main character was looking down at the photo and there was like the and then at the um, package and then goes out out of the, the door with his coat on and stuff just walking along. Maybe there could have been a bit more of a progression on that perhaps. Um, another thing was maybe the character should have, could have shown more expression when they were looking down at the um, pictures looking a bit quizzical. It's just like Perhaps it was maybe he was showing some confidence or whatever, but maybe it could have been more of a slightly confused when he was saying like that. Thank you. Um, yeah, at the end, it could instead of just changing to the colours, you could keep keep the colours on Eevee, but every time you swap to Jack, swap back to black and white, and then have them like slowly fading into colour when you when he meets Eevee. And um, I think there was there was one bit where Jack's face was in the shadows, so I couldn't really see his expression very well. Um, but apart from that, I thought it was really, really good. Thank you. One era where you saw um, Jack's shoulder before he entered the shot, um, and obviously that could very easily be tweaked. Um, some of the moments where Jack was holding the photo and looking around went on for a fraction too long, but I was very pleased equally when you did do the twist of going to the forest, because that happened just before I um, started to find, you know, get, get bored of just him looking at photographs. So that twist came on at just the right moment, um, which kind of saved So when the music transferred, I thought it was a bit odd. Also, we understand how the line got into the story. So I just finished um, looking through all my audience feedback and I made a list like this um, with all the different areas in which I received positive and negative constructive criticism. So I've got mise-en-scene sound, camera shots, angles, movement and editing. So there's four different sections. Similarly, I divided up a positive and negative put them on a tally chart like this which I'm going to then put into a graph which looks like this. Um, and so then I'll be able to see where I really need to improve so I'm going to have the red line showing areas of improvement and how, how depending on how high it was was how many people say like how many bad things there were about it and same with the green how many good things there were about it so um I'll start off me on sen um in terms of positive, um, people generally like the facial expressions, use of costume and makeup because, for example, the eyebrows showed his um, expression far more than if he hadn't had those really extravagant eyebrows. Similarly, um, some people like the fact that they believe that it sort of mocked the silent film genre. So, I you by using stuff like sound effects when they wouldn't have had sound effects and music um, so people really likes that um, some people said it looked authentic so they liked the use of black and white and then the transition to colour at the end when he meets Evie and most people got that so most people understood the story there um, similarly the use of makeup again um, the use of soundboards I can't remember what they're called but the voice boards which say what he's thinking um, in general that was really well received, people actually really liked that. Similarly, um, some of liked the sparse use of them, so they weren't overused, it wasn't like if I would over, if I used it for every single time someone said anything, like I could have used them for conversation but then it wouldn't have worked like they are meant to. Um, okay, so now on to negative points in terms of mise-en-scene. Um, 
one of these was lack of photo expression when he's looking at the photos. So when he's looking at the photos, he should have been like looking more shocked. Um, so that's a good point. Uh, so he should have looked more shocked when he read the photos rather than when he's, uh, he's actually looking at them. Like, uh, he should have been looking, been looking more shocked. Um, some people said there should have been a clear storyline, which I can kind of understand. Now, quite a few people didn't really get the film. I mean, there's not really too much to get. You don't have to really get the film to enjoy it, I kind of hoped. Um, so that, that was obviously a problem. I should have maybe made it clearer by showing Evie's journey, which is another point that comes up later. Um, someone said that there was one shot where Jack's face is in the shadow, so you can't see it very well. I could... I could have improved on that by um, changing, like, uh, bumping up the contrast and brightness and making it easier to see his face or lighting it better. Um, uh, also, one of the speech cards, um, someone said that um, it says what, but it has three um, question marks, so people so you could be seeing that. Um, uh, that quite, that's quite childish because he's obviously not a child, he's meant to be a man. So, kind of confused, that probably confused quite a few people. Similarly, the repeating of the word what would have meant that um, he would have been like, What is this? Like, what does this mean? So, I could have improved on that by obviously changing those areas. Um, also, go to the forest should have been more of a statement when he read it. Um, I put that in because. You probably would question it, but maybe it should have been more stem as if he was reading it aloud. It might have been a bit clearer for the audience, so I could have just used a full stop rather than a question mark or an exclamation mark. Um, and so that's it in terms of mise en scène. For the sound, um, in terms of positives, people liked the lack of dialogue. They thought it was quite intriguing um, that you never hear the characters speak and they never have just a conversation. And he doesn't really see anyone else to talk to anyway. Also, um, people liked the way the music fits with the film. For example, when he puts the bowler hat on, um, the music picks up and um, gets going at that point. And that's an it's more of an editing sort of thing. So I edit it for there, put it there. Um, however, there's one negative, which was the transition between so songs should have been slower. Um, which I could kind of see myself because it was very much upbeat, uh, happy song. Well, I have it. It's very much a ha upbeat song, which then became a very very floaty, quieter song. So that was quite. I, I could have maybe because I did put a transition in, but I'm sure I probably should have put an extended, more extended transition so it fades slower rather than suddenly fade at the end. So if it fade gradually from. When he, for example, said go to the forest, it could have faded gradually then to show him going to the forest. Um, or maybe just a bit before then. So, for example, when he comes around the corner and sees the photo on the wall. So maybe that could have shown his journey to the forest by slowing it down more there. So I could have edited it that way. Um, and now one for two, um, camera shots, angles and movement. Um, in terms of positives, um, people like the range of camera angles, for example the close-ups and other angles and the over-the-shoulder shot and um, so they like that about it. Um, only one negative for sh um, angles which was shorter shots um, when Jack and Evie meet so um, when they're both standing opposite each other and they both have the photos and they look at each other they should have gone like that rather than looking at it for a long time and then looking up at them. Um, because that's what you would do, you wouldn't stand there staring at a photo for a long time, you wouldn't literally walk to someone looking at a photo, you'd be aware of someone being there. It was a bit like a kind of rom-com kind of idea, because that's what people do in rom-coms, they're not real people, <laughs> not real meetings of people, it's just a bit of a comedic element really, that they don't see each other for a long time, but I can understand that it didn't really work very well. Um, lastly, in terms of editing, um, People like the following of Jack's adventure. How this is, I'm, I'm gonna mix up. I'm gonna use the positives and negatives for this area because uh, some people said that this went on too long. Um, it's kind of understandable because it's very repetitive. However, it could be said, like for example, Joe um, said that it um, it changed to the forest scene just before he began to get bored. Um, 
So it's a good work, good thing in that he didn't actually get a chance to get pulled, but he was, he was bordering on it when it happened. So that could be seen as a negative. So I could have easily just done more of the fo in the forest, maybe. Um, it wouldn't have been as long a film. I wouldn't have made the right length if I'd done it that way. But I don't know. I think it might have been a bit boring for people because it was obviously got boring for me because I had to look at it over and over again editing it but it might have been a bit boring for my audiences to keep going through all these photos and like yeah we get it now we, you can move on so <laughs> I could have done that um back to positives um the scene transition people like so um, when it went from scene to scene it was quite pacey it was paced enough but it wasn't too paced it wasn't too quick it was just right um, you, you had enough time to understand what was going on, but not enough time to get too bored with the length of everything. Um, in terms of negatives, uh, the aspect ratio changed when Jack comes out the door. I didn't actually really notice that, it wasn't intentional. Um, I could have easily changed that in editing, so I should have probably should have noticed that more. Um, also, it, some people said this should have, this should have been like, Evie's adventure being shown. So originally the idea was that you're not meant to see Evie's adventure, it's meant to be a surprise at the end. But some people also thought, well why is she there? Like what led her to be there? So um, maybe if I'd shown just shots of her doing similar things, looking at similar photos and going through it as well, it might have worked better. Um, also the transition to colour was a very negative thought most people. Um, people liked the fact that it became colour but they thought it should have come slower. It was really meant to be suddenly it's suddenly in colour and you're meant to go whoa is it in colour but um, people would have preferred it to be gradual so for example when he gets to the forest he could have gradually. But my favourite shot is actually when he first goes in the forest and it's all in black and white and you see the big tree and then it's him and there's all this stuff around him. I liked that in black and white I wouldn't have wanted that to be becoming colour um, but I guess it could have been slowly becoming colourful towards the end of that. Um, and lastly, there's one shot where um, you see Jack's shoulder before he comes into the shot. I hadn't realised that, but I could have easily just cropped that back because it doesn't really work. With you meant to see the whole of him walking into the shot, not just a bit of his shoulder before he walks in. It didn't really work very well that bit, so I could have easily just cropped that back. And that would have worked um, a lot better and been a lot smoother. Okay, um, I think that's everything. So, um, thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it.